The minute you walked into the Chelsea Hotel, in a way, it was the day you were born. There's definitely the energy of this hotel is bigger than the people who are in it. I'm the son of an Orthodox rabbi. My mother was a wife of a rabbi in an Orthodox community in Highland Park, New Jersey for many years. In 1967, she moved to New York City. Her father said she was tired of living next to the Garden of Eden. She wanted to live in it. It's been my permanent residence ever since. Two different camps. Absolutely. Yeah, the different the people who love it here. This is like heaven on earth. And the others. <laughs> you know, I used to be a guest here. You know, visitor. And visiting is one thing. Living here now is killing me. <laughs> Are you living here right now? Right this second. I remember this I, second. When I lived here, I would, you know, I'd always invariably run into somebody and say, hey, well, I'm over the Chelsea, why don't you come over? And they're like, no, nah, I, <laughs> I don't go there anymore. <laughs> so, I don't know, I can't do that to myself. Suppose they didn't want to make it like the Chateau Marmont. Right. right. It is a Chateau. And what, make it just a more expensive version of itself? Yeah, clean it up. Put a bar on the roof. A bar on the roof? Ha! <laughs> yeah. A bar on the roof. But let me end up with the, um... But From what I've heard, the, the people that took over are basically saying to themselves, what have we gotten ourselves into? So people that live here are going to be a real yeah, what percentage hassle of people to get out. Okay, what are the percentage of apartments that are residents? I say <coughs> there's at least 15 people, 15 apartments in here, maybe 20, where it would be, it would take years to get them out. The artists that always came here, the painters that came here, because of the feeling that the management understood them, appreciated them, and would help them in every way possible. The management company is not interested in the artists that they can get more revenue from Robert's room. How much and is now well, they're not renting monthly anymore. It's a night. It's like three. They, it, they, no, they don't what want. Are the, what are the rates now? Like, anywhere from two twenty-five up to nine hundred. We want to give Alpha Abel. Hey. And Jen. Wonderful Jen. I mean, how could you not make a move about the Chelsea Hotel? It's the only subject worthy. What does Chelsea mean to New York? It's the history of New York, you know, it's a, I mean, it is New York, you know, it's what it represents. I mean, it's it's the art of it, it's just the, the beauty of it, you know, it's, it's really, you know, I'm telling you, it was built on sacred ground, you know what I mean? So, I'm sure there was a hotel back there when the Dutch found a joint. The Indians probably had a hotel there. <laughs> Before white guys got there. That's right. They probably had a wigwam in case the Indians from across from Jersey came. That's where they stayed. <laughs>